Hi guys, Mr. B here. On today's video, we're going to start looking at how we can check our answers to make sure that we've got the right answer. Now, a lot of time when you're in class or when you're doing homework with your with adults at home, you get told, have a look at your answers, double check your answers, have a look over. But a lot of times we're not told how to do it. So this video is going to help you to see how to do it. Now, the first way I'm going to tell you, I'm not going to use my board, I'm just going to tell you because it's quite simple. The easiest way to check your answer is to do a sum again. Do a sum again, following through what you've already done or whatever word problem it is, and make sure you get the same answer. If you get different answers, then you might have made a mistake. Okay, that's our first simple way of checking. However, what might sometimes happen is if you make the same mistake twice, when you check your answer, you get the same answers both times, but both of them are incorrect. So we're going to have a look at some other techniques to check our answers. Okay, firstly, we all know these symbols, or if we don't, we're getting introduced to them. Okay. Second simple tip for checking our answers. Here we have our plus, addition, add sign, okay? And here we have our multiply or times sign. Now, whenever we do a plus or a multiplication, our number is going to get bigger, okay? So if you do a sum and your answer, you uh, use addition, you use multiplication, and the answer gets smaller, you know you've made a mistake. That's a nice easy one that sometimes you don't have to do anything with. You can just check your answer, have a look at it, and know you've made a little mistake somewhere on the way. Don't worry, we always make mistakes. Now we've got these other ones at the bottom, and have a guess what you think they do. We've got a takeaway, and this is what we call our divide. We've got our takeaway, subtraction, minus sign, and we've got our divide, share by, however you want to call the sign. These two here, if these go up, you guessed it, these always make a number go smaller, okay, go backwards on our number line. So if you're doing a takeaway or divide and your answer gets smaller, you've probably done something right. If it goes bigger, you know you've made a mistake. That's our second easy check uh, tip to check our maths. Now, what we're also gonna do now is have to take our mind back to our fact families, okay? And let's have a look at what a fact family is. So if I had the sum, Three plus five equals eight. Five, six, seven, eight. If I have that sum, I can work out its fact family. Okay, and this is going to be the main thing that we're going to look at the data to check our answers. We know that three plus five is eight, so we have a fact family. We now know that five plus three equals eight. And remember our fact families, what they mean is a family where we're using the same digits. We're not changing what numbers they are, okay? And when we use the same numbers, we can know what other sums are without working them out. Because now we know we can do two subtractions. Remember, subtractions start with our biggest number. So we can do eight take away five equals three. And we could do eight take away three equals five. So I didn't have, once I had my first sum, I didn't have to work any of those out because they're all in the same fact family. And that's what we're going to use to check our number, uh, our answers. Okay, I don't know what word I was going to say there. Um, now you might know these ones, but we also have multiplication and division fact families. And I'm going to show you those because they will help today. Now this is really advanced special maths if you're checking your multiplications and divisions. But if you are, these are good way to check. If I do, let's say, 2 times 3 equals 6, because I know what that type fact from my times table, uh, my times table facts, I know that 3 times 2 is also 6, because I can swap those numbers round. And just how addition is the opposite of subtraction, plus is the opposite of minus, we have multiplication is the same, or the, sorry, is the opposite to division, to sharing. So, same as before, we have to put our biggest number first, same as we did with our takeaways. But we can do six divided by three is two, and six divided by two equals three. Now, don't worry if you're unsure about this stuff, as long as we know here, because we can check our uh, addition subtraction answers, and we can also check our multiplication division answers in the same way, but obviously these ones are going to be harder. So master this one first as we go through, and then this one will be a check, uh, to, do, to, check to do later. 
So let's have a look with one of our easiest sums. Let's say we've got um, 4 plus 5 and we've worked it out. We've counted on 1, 2, 3, 4, we think it's 9. Now because we know our fact family now, if someone said check that answer, I could do it again. But what I could also do is I could say, well, if I know that 4 plus 5 is 9, then 9 take away 4, uh, let's stick with 5. I know that 9 take away 5 must equal 4. So I could do that sum as well, 9, uh, 8, 7, 6, 5, yeah. So I've checked two ways that my answer's right. Now a lot of times with smaller sums, you might not need to do another sum from the fat family to check your answer. But when your numbers start to get bigger, it is an easy, uh, easier way to check than counting, because you're going to have to take your shoes off and you're going to run out of toes as well. So let's see, let's say we've got this sum here, 200 and 16 and we're going to add on um let's add on 72 so first thing we do we look at that sum and think what's the best way to tackle it what we're going to do is a column addition now if you're unsure how to do column addition i've got a video for that on my channel so check it out but i'm going to assume that you know how to do column addition and we're just going to add put it on here and work it out six plus two is eight 1 plus 7 is 8, and 2 plus nothing is 2. So now I've worked out that I think 216 plus 72 is 288. Now I could do the sum again to make sure I've got the right answer, like I said on my first tip. I um, know it's an addition, and my number's got bigger, hasn't it? So my second tip there, that's helping me out. But what I can also now do is use what we said with our fact families to work out the answer. So if we know that 216 plus 72 equals 288, we now know that 288 take away, that's work our way backwards through the sum, 72 equals 216, if we are right. So now I can do this sum, and if this sum gets me the right answer, then I'm topper. So let's have a look. 216. And we're going to, oh, sorry, not 88. I'm starting that, aren't I? Sorry, I'm starting with my answer. So make sure you've got the right numbers. That's why I always double check as you're going through as well. Make sure you're copying your questions down. 8 take away 2, 8, 7, 6. 8 take away 7, 1. And 2 take away nothing, 216 which is right, which means I can now put my uh, all my money on and say, yes, that is the right answer. I think I have double checked. Now, as you can see when you're doing this estimation, you have to be confident and good at your addition and subtraction in order to make sure that your answers are going to be right. So, if you're not 100% confident on them, the first thing I would do is I practice lots of those sums so you can do them without even looking at them, without even thinking about them. That's the best way. Let's do one more check with an addition or subtraction. We start with the subtraction this time. Let's say we've got uh, 794 and we're going to take away um, 63. Okay. Now, if I do quickly do that with my column addition, and I'm going to do this quickly because this video isn't really looking at the column addition. Again, that video is there if you want it. So you column subtraction this time. 4 take away 3 is 1. 9 take away 6 is 3. And 7 take away nothing is 7. So I can work that out there. And I've said that I think this is my answer. Now, because of my fact families, I know some I can do to check my answer. I can work backwards. So let's do 731. Work backwards through our sum. So we one this way. So because we're going backwards, it means we can't do the take away, we've got to do the opposite. So we're going to do a plus 731 plus 63. Keep going, it must equal 794. So if you struggle with the fact families as well, or how to set them out, just work backwards through your sum and change it to an addition. Okay, 731 plus 63 must equal 794. So let's quickly do that sum to double check our answer. Okay, and um, let's plus... 63, I said, yeah. And we should get 794. So look, 1 plus 4, 3 is 4. Uh, 3 plus 6 is 9. And 7 plus nothing is 7. 794. I double checked my answer and it is right. Well done, me. Pat on the back. Need it. Okay. So that's how we check with our takeaway. And it doesn't matter what sum we've got. 
We can always do that opposite one to check. So it could be two digits, one digit, three digit. It's always going to help us check, okay? And um, what we're going to do now is do one example with a really hard one with the multiplication, but we'll keep the numbers lower. We will just use uh, numbers that we know from our uh, times table fact. If you're really clever, you know your column multiplication division. Oof, really impressed, but if you know that, you can use those as well. Not com division, you know what I mean, long division. So let's say we've got the answer five times three. And I go, oh, I think five times three equals ooh, 15. Okay. Now I could say in my head, I think I know that from my multiplication facts, but I could be wrong. I might have drawn an array, I might have done whatever I want, but this is my answer. I want to check. So what I'm going to do is work backwards the same way as I did. Remember my fact family, that division is the opposite of multiplication. So 15 divided by 3 must be 5. Okay. And I could check that. Let's have a look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And when I want... So I've got 15 there. I'm going to divide it into 3. How many groups do I get? 1, 2, 3... Four, five. So I've got my right answer. So that's really complicated getting the next level of checking. So move on to that after you've practiced with your addition and subtraction. But it still shows us that just working backwards through the sum will help us to get our answer. Now we've looked at three different little things to check our answers there. We've looked at making sure, uh, doing the sum again to make sure we get the right answer. We've looked at no, making sure we're not making a silly mistake, so numbers are going bigger if we're adding or multiplying, getting smaller if we're taking away or dividing. And then we've also looked at going backwards through the sum, so using our fact family basically to rearrange the sum and doing another sum to work out whether we are right. Now, some of those take different times, and so it depends what you're doing. If you're doing questions where I ask you to check your answer and you need to show, brilliant, take all the time you need. If you're doing a test, Sometimes it might be good to come back and check after you've done all the questions and you know you've got enough time to do it. Because if you do that checking and doing another takeaway sum, that could take time, you might not get all your questions done. But what the biggest thing is, is practice. The more you practice with those, the more you'll get used to them, the quicker you will get. So you'll be able to get your first answers quicker, you'll be able to get your uh, answer that you're checking with quicker and you'll have more time, what we call more efficient. And that just comes with practice. So don't worry if you're slow to start off with, we are all are, okay? Even Mr. B, when he first started off with maths, he was slow because when you're learning something new, it takes a long time and a lot of practice to get better. But if you keep at it, you will get better. I hope that helped you with checking your answers. And I hope when you're doing your sums next, if someone says, check your answers, you know exactly what you need to do. Till next time, see you later. That's this video done. I hope you found it helpful. Uh, if you do need any more help, you can pop them down in the comments. I'll try and answer if I can. And remember to subscribe so you'll always see when I put new uh, videos up. Please give the video a like if it did help you. Um, and uh, you can find me at uh, Mr. Biggins123 on my Facebook and uh, my Instagram and my Twitter if you want to uh, see, ask me any other questions or need any other help on any other things. Until next time, see you later.